This is a hundred yuan renminbi. This is ten thousand renminbi. A hundred million watts of notes like this is a trillion yuan. Piled up, they'd weigh more than the Eiffel Tower. In U.S. dollars, it's around 139 billion. But what does it take to produce that kind of value? Speed matters. In this kind of big wave, you can buy it, you can buy it. Quality matters. We are completely above the national standard. Time matters. Twenty years ago, it was already too late. And innovation matters. It will take two decades to change the whole system. China has a name for cities with an annual GDP of more than one trillion yuan. One yuan cities. It's the Trillion Yuan City Club. That club had 26 members on the Chinese mainland last year. They are important contributors to the country's economic growth, accounting for almost 40% of China's GDP last year. While many have been on the list for a while, two cities were new club members last year. And one new member stands out, Changzhou, because it's also the city on the list with the smallest population. The secret to Changzhou's growth is the new energy sector. The output value of the industry in the city reached more than three quarters of a trillion yuan. Pretty much all the growth from large industrial firms in Changzhou comes from producing new energy products. That includes photovoltaics, electrical equipment, and more than half of the output is estimated to come from NEVs and components. The Changzhou Dongli Dianchi Chaiye Nian, its complete production has reached more than 97. It's about the whole line that it can do with 97. To get more insights, I took the three-hour drive from Shanghai to Changzhou. It's no surprise that Shenzhen and Shanghai have the highest concentration of new energy companies, being two of the country's megacities and financial centers, where there are also big-name car makers such as Saic Motor and Tesla in Shanghai. And Shenzhen has BYD, brands that have been well-received even outside China. But according to the Hurui Research Institute rankings, Changzhou, a city with just 5.4 million people, roughly one-fifth of Shanghai's total population, ranked fourth. That's the same as Beijing. It's the only second-tier Chinese city in the top 10. So I'm curious how Changzhou got there. That's top on our agenda on today's visit. We were guided to an entry called Jiangsu Zhongguancun. So this must be the tech hub of Jiangsu province. It's a gathering place for battery makers who are responsible for around half of the production cost for an EV, where we saw a huge plant fully owned by China's battery giant CATL. Soon after that, we arrived at Saic CATL, a joint venture between a Shanghai-based auto giant and a Fujian headquartered battery maker. They set up two joint ventures in Changzhou, with a combined initial investment of more than 10 billion yuan. Why did both companies pick this city in Jiangsu? Changjiang Three Mountains is very focused on the customers. 那作为常州一个相当于一个圆心一样的啊，那这个圆心地带，它跟这些主机厂的距离都在呃两个到三个小时左右这样一个车程的范围内。在我们落地到常州之后，很多电池厂也都落落过去了，相应的一些供应链也都带过来。我们距离供应链、距离客户更近，那我们的成本啊、响应啊各方面都会有优势。This factory has been here for six years, among the first batch of battery makers to set up in the city. And it's been doubling its production every year. It's the Changzhou industry in miniature. And the growth is only possible because of tech upgrades that speed up R&D and production and the increasing demand for NEVs. Parts are passed smoothly between robots and autonomous vehicles one after another. This is the first production line at the plant having been here since the factory started operation in 2018. In just six years, the plant has been expanded to have five such production lines. On the day I arrived, the line was producing module batteries, each consists of six modules. That battery only came into mass production three years ago, but now there is already another newer generation in the market. The latest product is called C2P, from the to pack, cell to pack, this shape. 那做这样一个结构的好处，主要是为了减少当中的这样一些零件的数量，那从而降低成本。单个电池所能带的能量会越来越大。现在的 C 多 P 的最大的续航电量能够做到一百度电以上，能够满足实际的续航里程在四百多公里以上。It's turning to a big investor and an industrial giant. Last year, 150,000 power batteries were produced here. It's a big supplier for auto brands owned by the Shanghai headquartered Saic. 
such as MG, Psych Maxis, Psych GM, Rising Auto, and IM Motors. The soaring demand for Made in China NEVs from both home and abroad has laid a foundation for that growth. Last year, China overtook Japan as the largest auto exporter. NEV exports rose 78% from a year ago. In the domestic market, NEV sales took up almost a third of the total automobile sales last year. But there were challenges too. Given the fierce competition among Chinese EV makers, price pressures have been quickly transferred to the suppliers, which are leading the industrial growth in the city. The whole battery industry is basically low profit. Before it was 10-20% profit, now it's about 0. But the companies are still able to accept this. I think it's very difficult. So how are they tackling the challenges? From last year, we have also started to open the market to the foreign market, including the foreign market market, more than the market. 外部的其他的动力电池的业务，啊，包括船用的，包括储能，包括两轮车，包括重卡。年前一月份的时候，我们跟浦东那边建立了一个联盟，做整个浦东区的绿色航运，帮助黄浦江上的这样一些船只实现电动化。一些船只的设计，包括货运船，包括游轮都有。That's one of the reasons that some experts predict the fast industrial growth in Changzhou will last long. 国家就是坚定的走这个双碳道路或者绿色低碳转型的道路的话，至少你十年、十五年是没有问题的吧。According to a three-year action plan by 2025, the Yangtze River Delta region will gradually eliminate administrative barriers and significantly reduce institutional transaction costs, which Liu says will further heat up the growth of cities like Changzhou and help different cities focus on specific areas that they've been strong in. 尤其是新能源发展领域，大家的分工合作。比如说，上海就是总部或者研发，然后就是他把他的那个量产环节布局，在就是常州、绍兴等等，他的产品又是提供给其他城市的，比如说助推其他城市的那个新能源整车的这个发展的。I finished my tour at nightfall when one of the production lines was still running, busy producing the newest generation of battery, in a process to plug in another doubling cells for this year. It's clear now how Changzhou, a city with such small population, has achieved such fast economic growth. It was the determination among manufacturers, the natural advantage of the location, and the industrial growth throughout the region.